Okay, I've got some digging to do back here at home. I gotta dig in a sewer line for my back house. And uh, some of this dirt back here I got is rock hard and I'm not gonna do it by hand. So we rented this little guy. It's a Bobcat excavator E20 with a 16 inch bucket. And I think the dig depth on this is five or six foot, maybe more. I think it's about six foot dig depth. So uh, here we go. So we're gonna dig out right here this white line. tough previous owner drove big trucks all over this property so he laid down years ago laid down like six inches of slag from a metal foundry and this stuff is just hard and that's all I've gotten in about I don't know, 40 minutes Not a whole lot just breaking through this first six to eight inches of uh, slag is really tough all right good thing I got this thing for 24 hours
Boy, I tell you what, if you ever want your dirt nice and hard to drive on, go to a metal foundry and buy yourself some slag and lay that down. <clears throat> I've probably been working on this two and a half, three hours now, and uh, that's, uh, that's what I got done. It's a lot faster than digging by hand, but it's really putting this, uh, this little, uh, little bobcat to work. <clears throat> it's an E20 excavator. Works great. It's just, it needs a little more weight to it and a little more power to pull up the slag layer it's it's almost like concrete i think pulling up four inches of concrete would be a lot easier than this slag but when i lift here with the bucket the whole ground around it comes up with it like in a big big diameter not just where the bucket's at anyways that's the progress i think i'm gonna have to dig some by hand like right here where the tractor just you're kind of trapped you dig yourself into a back yourself into a hole there so this section here from here to there which is a good five feet i'm probably gonna have to dig by hand I'm not looking forward to that all right that's the progress so well, my digging's pretty much done as far as i can get with a machine the rest i gotta do by hand but uh let's uh let's go over this real quick in case you're curious how this works you step in on one side and uh, the armrest is up. So you get in the machine. First thing you're gonna do is find your seat belt and fasten your seat belt because these things get tippy. Okay. Next thing we're gonna do is lower our hand our armrest with this red knob here, just like that. And uh, next thing we're going to do is start the machine. He's right here. So we got that. Now this left joystick here, well before we get into that, we'll get into throttle and steering. This is the throttle here. I'm going to keep it low so you can hear me. Uh, this is how you steer the machine right here with these two two sticks split sticks uh, If you're going forward, you could use these just by pushing on them, the machine will go forward If you want to turn uh, turn uh, left What you can do is This one will come back causing that track on the left to go backwards and this to go forward So it's kind of opposite you want to turn left you have to press on the right pedal. If you want to turn right, you got to press on the left pedal. Uh, really, there's no way to go reverse with these pedals, so you have to use knobs. Just, if you want to go straight back, pull both of them straight back. If you want to turn, while going back, pull one back, one forward, kind of like that. Anyways, that's how you steer. Now, the other controls, you got this knob here, which lowers your blade front so when you're ready to, to do some digging you can uh, lower that down so it's nice and firm uh, now working your your uh, your cab here this stick here will turn your cab I need more throttle we'll turn your cab it should going on oh there it goes okay so it'll turn your cab to the left and to the right all the way 360 degrees it'll go now this the switch here uh, it's for a grapple bucket we don't have one on here it's got a horn right here Okay, so this stick pretty much left and right. It goes left and right. It also extends your arm out. Your main arm attached to the uh, tractor, to the excavator. Now, if 
you want the second portion to go out, it's the right stick. Push out, it goes out, flow in, it comes in, push out, out, we're gonna pull it in. Just by pulling back. Okay, also, um, so we got that, we got left and right. We got the main boom in and out. We got the other arm in and out with this right stick. Now to work your bucket, when you curl this inward, pull it inward, the bucket comes in. When you push it to the right, the bucket goes out. like that um, and that's about it arm in arm out bucket in bucket out and this controls the main arm in pull in out push out and this controls your grapple like I said so once you get set there you go you're all ready to go remember always wear your seatbelt Always wear your seatbelt and uh, get her done. Be safe. So once again guys, that's the Bobcat E20 excavator, mini excavator. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you liked it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and share. Alright, have a good day.